What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, y'all. A while back, a couple, well, not a while back, a couple weeks back, I did a video on Canadian Mayor Rob Ford and the scandal which he's in. To bring everybody up to speed, as you can see on the picture, he admits to smoking crack. This, that, and the third, this, you know how it goes. But the problem is, I came across 80% of the Canadians that watched that video were, and the ones that made the comments were whiny and crybabies and had a lot of, a lot of justification for what he did. I had one comment on there. It's like, you're just using Rob Ford. It doesn't make you feel better. This, that, and the third. Look, I'm not using Rob Ford. I'm not reporting on a story. Like, people need to know this stuff. And one guy said, like, I made the video where I said he's Canadian's version of Marion Barry. This one guy tried to tell me, no, he's better than Marion Barry. It's a whole different class. Like I told that guy, there's no difference between him and Marion Barry outside of one's black and one's white. The same policies that Ford was championing for Toronto, Marion Barry, Barry had a lot of popular policies in Washington, D.C. The people loved me. He was reelected. You know, people loved him. Down, even down in D.C. still, the dude got reelected. So what's that to say? You know, I had one comment saying he's still the best mayor in Toronto, you know, that Toronto ever had. Well, that may be. I don't think, with the comment that I like this one guy had, I don't think people were mad that, like, he did the drugs. I think they're mad that he's a hypocrite because he wants to punish and make all these social programs that, you know, that, you know, that fill these prisons. But at the same time, he's going to the same places where to get these drugs. So, it's kind of a hypocrite. But uh, people were really crying and whining. I mean, geez, though, Pete, they were really whining. And, like, I'm going to compare this story to, like, you know, I'm going to tell you a little story. I haven't said this before. I'm going to compare it to, like, when you find out the Easter Bunny wasn't real. I remember when I was little, I remember the day. I was going in as we were coming home from the mall. And we were talking about this, talking about, oh, finally, the parents broke it down. Look, the, you know, the Easter Bunny, he ain't the dude ain't real. And I was like, hold on a minute. Hold on. I had to I had to put Grover on hold. He was on my speaking spell at the time. My little, you know, we pulled a string and he was talking. I just said, Grover, Grover, chill out. I got to put you on hold for a minute. And then I heard, you know, that little talk. The Easter Bunny was real. I was like, the hell you say? And they're like, the Easter Bunny's not real. I said, I just sat down on the fucking guy's lap about an hour ago. I got his picture. What are you talking about? He ain't real. He just hops down the trail. He's like, no, he ain't real. I said, this is blasphemous. I said, wait till Santa Claus finds out about this. So, the end of the story. But uh, that's what I was kind of, people would kind of view Rob Ford as, I think he was good for Toronto. Yeah, I was up in Toronto. I've been to Toronto. But that don't change the fact that he's the, he, he smokes crack. One person tried to tell me, well, I don't think he smokes crack. Well, the dude admitted to smoking crack. Look, here's the thing. He's worse than Marion Barry as far as the drug related, in my eyes, because Marion Barry was caught with a prostitute. He was caught smoking crack, yes. But, Marion Barry, whether he did or didn't do it, we can all speculate, which I tend to believe he did, he didn't admit to having wild, wild sessions with all these prostitutes. Ford admits to hanging with prostitutes. That's more than one. Marion Barry never admitted to that, even though I may think he had. I, that's my personal opinion. He never came out. It was never denied. Now, him smoking crack and him being with a prostitute in that room, it was confirmed. It was it was there's cold clear evidence everything with Rob Ford is cold clear evidence and plus it came out of his own mouth so what I think the problem is I think there's a disillusion up in Toronto with a lot of people that uh with Rob Ford going on and then this one guy tried to tell me one person say well you did this video did you know he's been stripped of his powers he's been stripped of his powers big deal but he's still the mayor I saw you guys kick him out of office and then you know the title alone goes a long way if I don't, if I don't know all this, i will try to hook up get that key to the city. I don't make you know December first low rent day, you know. But the problem is he he's he this one guy says he's not a crackhead. Like, dude, he's a crackhead. He's chasing that dragon. One guy tried to justify it. Well, he's too big to be a crackhead. I said to myself, you're his campaign manager. That's why. But uh, at the proverbial end of the day. The dude ain't no better than anybody else. I think he was a good politician, but still, that changed the fact that he liked getting high. He liked chasing the dragon. He liked getting that work. He liked, you know, he was rocking and rolling. He's a rock star. 
But uh, I'm not trying to bash the I'm just telling a lot of people don't like to live in the realities that they're that they're presented with. So, yes, your boy was a crackhead. Yes, he may have been a good mayor. Mayor Barry was a good mayor. But what, what's going? What are you going to do?